G'day, it's Rusty and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I just want to show you how I load steel onto my plasma table. Um, I've had a few people ask me what method I use, because I've only got a small table. My table's got a cut area of um, 1300 by 1300, so effectively half a sheet of steel. And I load a full sheet on, I cut it in half usually, take half away, and then cut on the other half. So I just want to show you what I use. At the moment, I've got my steel in this rack. It's got uh, wheels on it so I can move it around the shop. I sort of move it to the side when I, when I um, don't need it. I've got it stacked in 1.6 and 2 mil sheets here, 3 and 4 mil here, I've got 6 mil here. So then I've got aluminium on this side and just at the back here I've got some off cuts of 3 mil that I wanted to keep separate because it's sort of, it's hard to get the sheets in and out. So I need to load some 3 mil sheet onto the table and what I've built to lift the steel and put it on the table, it's a mobile gantry crane and it's on wheels and it's got a, uh, a boat winch with three tonne cable on it and it runs up through a pulley and I'm using a, this vertical clamp, it's a 0.8 of a tonne or 800 kilo uh, vertical clamp that the hook grabs hold of, the, sheet, the edge of the sheet clips in here and then I lift it and I actually put it on the ground on some timber and then from there I use two uh, electromagnets and they're 600 kilos each and I've got two of them on an arm and then I pick the sheet up and I run it on the, on the crane uh, onto the table. So I'll just show you that now. So this is my mobile crane. Uh, wheels on the bottom both sides. It comes up the, uh, the overhead beam here has um, some supports. Here I'm running a, I said a three ton boat winch. The cable runs up over that pulley. Comes across this center beam which is uh, got a hole in it, cable comes down at the bottom and then I use the hook to uh, pick up the sheet and I'll just grab a sheet out and I'll show you how I do that. So the first thing I do is mark the sheet, it's 2400 long, so I mark the sheet in the middle so I know where to put the clamp so when I pick it up it's not going to be sort of off to one side. So using the uh, vertical lifter, I drop it onto the plate Apply the uh, hook from the winch, and then if I come around here and pick it up, make sure the ratchet's in on the So really all I've got to do is just clear the sheet up off the, the bottom of the rack, and then I can pull the whole gantry forward. And it's a bit of a, you know, it, it's really a two-man job, but because I'm by myself, you sort of got to run backwards and forwards, but you get the idea. So once the sheet's cleared the, the, uh, my steel rack, I just push it back, back into this little recess it fits into. So now I've got the sheet on the uh, mobile crane. I'll just wheel it in the middle of the shop here on the floor. And then I'll lay some timbers down and put it on the floor. So let me uh, just grab some timber. All right, so now I'm gonna lower the sheet onto these uh, timbers. Again, you gotta take the ratchet off, but don't let, it cut, don't let it free wheel, otherwise it'll spin, the winch handle spin in your hand. I'm just gotta sort of kick the bottom out to lay it down. Alright, so now the sheet's on the floor, I can take the hook off the, uh, the, the vertical clamp. I can take the, put the clamp off, just a matter of turn the lever down. And resting 
placing that on the timbers. Next I'll just mark the plate so I know where the centre is and where my two magnets go and we'll uh, pick it up on the magnets. Now these are the two magnets that I'm using, they're the 600 kilo um, electromagnets. So I marked the sheet, the, the, this, this beam I've made has a hook centre of 1340, so from the centre it's 670 from the centre of the sheet each side, and I marked the middle. So I've got a little bit of a cross on the plate, so just a matter of locking the, the magnets in place is to push the handle and then slide it over and the little finger catches under that one, same with this one. So those magnets now are locked onto the sheet and when I wind the winch up I'll be able to pick that sheet up off the ground. Now a couple of things I need to be mindful of is the sheet needs to be slightly higher than the table um, and I've got to drive the torch of the table back to the far end because this, actually, this sheet actually goes underneath the, the, uh, the Z axis where the torch is. So I'll just lift this up a bit more. And then all we need to do is Again, it'd be easy with two people, but with myself, I just have to move the, the gantry a little bit, obviously keeping to the side, I hate that sheet to come off. So we just move the gantry up to the table, and we just need to position the gantry such that it will straddle the frame, and I'll just show you what I mean by that. Right, down the side of the table, now my table is 1800 wide, but I've got this cable tray on the side um, that's got the drag chains running in it. So I need to be able to make sure this is wider than that. And on the other side, you've got the ball screw drive system. So you've got to clear that. That's why I've made this um, gantry, mobile gantry crane or mobile crane wide enough to fit down the side of the table. Yeah, you've sort of got to, it's got to run back and forth a little bit. Run it down the side. So once you get to here, you pretty much, that's as far as I can go with it. And one thing to be mindful of too is I need a little bit of clearance on here. But as I lower the sheet onto the table, the, the strength of these magnets is such that it actually grabs onto the, the uh, water table slats. So if I put the sheet down, it's in the wrong place. <laughs> I can't just pick it back up with the crane because the magnets will suck onto the frame as well. So. Again, okay, you've got to be a little bit careful where you put it. I said the torch is down the back corner. So I can lower this. Just, and I'll just put this down now on the table. Okay, so now I've got this support table under this back end of the sheet, I can go ahead and take these magnets off. Um, just one thing I need to be mindful of is when I put the magnets on, when you throw the lever, the back one's not so bad I can get to it, but the front one, I can only reach the lever from this far side because the other side I've got the table and the drive mechanism in the way. So I need to make sure I, I put the magnet in the right orientation. So to take this magnet off, I need to lean from this side, so it's just a matter of pushing the button and holding the handle, let it go over, and the same on this side. And from here what I do is I just wind the uh, winch down a little bit. So I'll take the, I find if I take the magnets off now, it's easier to sort of get them out the way than it is to bring the beam and the two magnets and then have to lower it to the ground to get them off. So I'll just drop these off now.
And now I can just run this uh, crane back away. If I can get it to move by itself. I can take the beam off, stow it on the little hook that I made. And then I just slide this around in the corner and get it out of the way. So that's just a quick demonstration of how I load the, the sheet of steel onto my table. Uh, I'm sure there's probably other ways. I don't have an overhead sort of uh, crane, which I have considered doing, but I'm not sure whether the, the structural integrity of my shed would allow a crane down the middle. It's something we've been thinking about for a while. Yeah, so normally I would just cut the sheet in half and then take half away and work on the other half of the sheet. Um, but this is a different job I've got to do today. So if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button's down here. If there's something you didn't like about the video and you gave it a thumbs down, certainly appreciate you putting in the comments below what it was you didn't like because you know I'm always trying to make you know, better content. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description below to buy me a coffee. I certainly appreciate all the support I've been getting. So that's it for this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.